Think about your comic book collection. Think about all the books in your collection that you love. But think about the one grail book that you don't have yet. What's it worth to you? Would you sacrifice pieces out of your collection? Would you sacrifice your whole collection? What would you do to achieve that one book? But I got to tell you that your grail may actually be closer than you realize. Let's explore this right now. Here we go. What is going on everybody? I'm Alex the Comic Hoarder. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Right now I have a really exciting unboxing to do, but before that, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how I'm changing my collecting style and what I've been doing over the last couple weeks and months. So as I change in my comic book collecting and how I do things in my own personal collection, just wanted to shout out a few people. Tumua off of Instagram and YouTube, also ETA Nick and ETA Nick's Wednesday night show with the dudes, including Anthony Reaper Tate, you've got Luther Manning Patrick, and you've got Dr. Von Chilla John, also Deadpool 2323 Aaron, these are the guys who have really inspired me, have helped motivate me in doing the things that I'm doing right now to change my collection. All of us, for every collector, there are certain books that you just think may be out of reach. And this could be uh, New Mutants 98. It could be an amazing Spider-Man 300. It could be a rare variant that you're chasing after that you just can't find. It's not even online. It could be a really huge uh, first appearance of a major character. It could be a Silver Age Grail or a Golden Age book. Um, whatever it is, uh, sometimes these books just seem out of, out of range for us. But I want to share some of the things that I've been doing uh, to make some of these things more tangible. So the first thing I've done is set a goal. And if you want an Amazing Fantasy 15, a first appearance of Spider-Man, if you want an ASM 300, a first appearance of Venom or a New Mutants 98, a first appearance of Deadpool, you want to set that as your top priority. Okay, what are you going to do within your collection without going into any debt to get this book? And that's what the Wednesday Night Dudes have been talking about. That's what Deadpool 2323 and I have been talking about. Um, for me, it's been uh, not spending as much on weekly hauls, not, not buying new books, maybe sacrificing some of the books that I was reading. Also, uh, not digging as much in the back issues, which I love to hunt. So that's a real challenge for me. It's also evaluating the books that I have right now. I love having a massive amount of books. I love having a lot of back issues. I love having lots of keys. But are those keys more important to me than getting that grail book? So I've been reevaluating that stuff, taking the advice of some of these other collectors, watching what they do, and reevaluating and changing my collection and what my priorities are. Then obviously number two, setting aside those books that are just untouchable books in my collection, and then potentially possibly either trading or getting rid of some of the other books. It's um, easier said than done. It's, um, it's painful sometimes to, to uh, lose some of those books, but when you keep your eye on the prize, eye on that big book that you really want, it makes it more easy. And then once you finally reach that book, like I've done, for one of my grail, grail, grail books. It's just so worth it in the end. Now on to the unboxing. Really, really thrilled to have this box in my possession. I got it yesterday. I got home from work, saw the pink slip in my mailbox, and I actually got into my car and chased down the mail person and found them within my neighborhood still. Big shout out to James from Facebook. Um, really great, very, very trustworthy trader slash seller and um, we made a deal. I saw what he wanted, what he was going after, and luckily I had it, and I had some other things I could add to my trade portion. Luckily and thankfully, he's very, very happy with the trade that he got, and I'm really excited to show you guys my grail book that's in this box. Kind of cut the tape a little bit. I'm not gonna waste any time. Oh, there's a box within a box, which is always great. I, I uh, We FaceTimed while he was shipping this. Padding around the box within the box. I'm gonna tear into this thing. I have been waiting all night and all day today. It's Friday today, so that's awesome. But I've been waiting, waiting, waiting to open this box. I've got it open, and here is the book. You guys, it's a 4.0 CGC. It's a qualified label, and I'll explain a little bit about uh, why it got a green label. And I'll explain a little bit about, and I'll show you pictures actually of 
um, what is actually missing out of this book. But here it is, it's already in Mylar. Um, man, taking a moment just to like, <laughs> just to, uh, yeah, I'm kind of speechless right now that I'm holding this book. This is the showcase number four. This is the first appearance of Barry Allen. This is the first appearance of, or this is the, the start of the Silver Age. It's the first appearance of Iris West. And it's a 4.0, like I said, it's a CGC qualified. I, I literally was at a loss, in shock, when I, when I saw this book, when I just took it out. I can't believe I'm actually holding this book in my hands. Yeah, here it is. That is a beautiful, beautiful copy. Here's the back of the book. It has a coupon cutout on page 13 and affects the story. It's incomplete. But check that out. I will show you exactly what's missing. So I'm sure this contest was in several different books because you need five coupons out of five different books to enter this contest. Uh, it's a slogan contest and you can enter as many times as you want. You just needed five of these pink slips or five of these coupons every time you entered. So that's page 13. On the flip side, this is what would have been cut out. It's a picture of the slowest man on earth, the turtle man, as he taunts the flash as the flash is running through that wall. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Got a grail book and man, it feels so good. You saw my genuine reaction as I opened up this book and held this book for the first time. Uh, I've been recently reading, going through, uh, you know, for, for the last several weeks, just slowly reading the original Flash stories. And when I was reading these first couple stories, and this is actually that page right here. This is page 14. As I was reading this book, I was thinking, man, it would be great to have some of these early Flash books but that book will never happen for me. Showcase number four will never happen. And I really put my mind to it. It happened sooner than what I thought because I was able to add a nice trade to that. Um, and so thanks again to James. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Uh, hopefully I wasn't too dramatic in it or anything like that, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Also check out some of these other videos just did a recent haul video. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Uh, really appreciate you all. I'll talk to you soon on the next video. See ya. Bye.